long time. So anyway, I made a video this morning and it was like, yeah, whatever. Well, the main point was that I look sort of human-ish now and I have a lot to talk about. There's so much that has happened to me in like the past week. It is ridiculous. So I realized something about myself lately and that is that when I talk, I rock back and forth like this. Not all the time, only when I'm very conscious about what I'm doing, like vlogging, which is why you haven't really seen it before, I don't. It goes back and forth, and I got called out on it in class, and I was just sitting there, and I'm rocking back and forth, and I'm telling a story, and Miss Lewis comes back, and she's all like, Anetta! She, like, grabs me, and she's all like, stop rocking back and forth, and I'm like, what? <laughs> That is just a quirk that I learned about myself, which is great. But, like, I have had no focus whatsoever in the past a long time. So, this is me. Hey, guess what? What? Um... Hey, guess what? What? Yeah, that's right. That actually happened to me. I was in a play, and I just got my hair cut, so I'm messing with it. My glasses aren't, like, because before I had to, like, fluff it like this in order, because it was too long, it had them right down to, like, here. And so, I can see clearly now my hair is gone. Whatever. I've been talking a lot to Ben lately. He's my friend. And he was making fun of me, as usual. And it's funny, because, like, <laughs> in science class, we'll just sit there, and then Devin's between us, and Devin's all like, blah, 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 blah. And then Devin messes with... My John Green library book, I can't see. looking for Alaska, and he just knocks it out of my hand. And I'm like, hey, I'm not happy with you. But I was serious. So, Devin and I get into like this huge fight. I'm not fing happy with you. Durr. Net net. STF you. Don't even call me that. Net 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 net. Go away. You're so mean. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> The teacher comes by and I'm like, the teacher says, yes, Hermione, Devin just made me lose my page number. And I'm not very happy and I don't really appreciate that. And the teacher says, well, some boys take your books when they want to flirt with you. Ew! I don't like Devin like that. This is Ben. Okay, I'll show you Ben. Where the hell is my baseball cap? Ben sits next to Devin and he's all like, got his hood all popped up. Just cracking up. <laughs> and I'm arguing. He's all like, <laughs> and then I get cocky. Devin's like, yeah, do you? I'm sorry. Devin doesn't have any special sort of costume. He is such an asshole. But I think it's hilarious because <laughs> it just makes me laugh, and then it makes him laugh. I'm just sitting, scratching stuff on the table. Then he reads it, and then. Devin's like, why is there a swastika here? Ben cracks up, because it's an inside joke between us. I don't know. I just go to class, and then nobody gets it. And then we go home, and we talk. So I don't understand it, but whatever. <laughs> okay, moving on. Ah, oh, that looks worse. What the heck? Get enough. I told you, I forget everything. No focus. It's like, hey, guess what? When did you get there? Yeah. Dang it. Are you kidding me, bro? Well... Let me tell you a story. It's called Once Upon a Time at auditions on Monday. Annetta was at auditions and like, I was talking to this girl, Sammy, right? Auditioning for The Little Mermaid, which is something I'm gonna talk about in a sec. We were sitting in a circle for auditions because it's where they have a My hat is dented. Ah, oh, this is BS, man. Okay, auditions. I was sitting and I was talking to this girl, Sammy. I was trying to look all professional, and she was trying to look all professional, because we were there for professional reasons. Sitting in a circle on the ground, crisscross. And we were waiting for a minute, and I'm just zoning out. Oh, where do you go to school? You know, I go to my out west, and it's pretty great. Um, anyway, so are you excited for auditions? What role do you want? I really want Celia. Do you think I'll get it? Actually, I'm 16. Oh, hey, can I use some of your lip gloss? I mean, unless you have herpes or something. What? Oh, sure. You don't have herpes, do you? Herpes? No, I don't have herpes. But I do have AIDS. You do? Oh, I won't tell anyone. 
But that is so sad. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I don't have AIDS, but I had to say that. Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't even tell anybody. It's just, you can't get herpes from lip gloss. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, that was Sammy, and I love Sammy. She did actually get the role of Celia in the play, which was the lead role. And um, she was 16, and she's really short and adorable. I, I gave her a lot of hugs. <laughs> It, she's great, but not as sweet and innocent as she looked on stage, and she looked pretty innocent, man. It's funny, because she's the oldest of all the auditioners and cast members, because she was 16. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was pretty cool, actually. And that's what I'm going to talk about next, The Little Mermaid. So, are you familiar with Missoula Children's Theater? It's a traveling children's theater that originated in Missoula, Montana. Imagine that. I talked about this in some of my previous vlogs. There's different teams that they assign of two directors, and they go all over the world, mostly in the North American continent. But um, there's two of them, and they go through auditions and a production within a week. And this week they were in Whitewater. So I was in The Little Mermaid. And they do the same thing for a year, because they get the show in Monday ask some questions, and they perform on Saturday, they drive all day Sunday, and then they audition somewhere else on Monday. And I've, Iowa is where they're going next. So yeah, hence the um, flowers here. Yesterday was Saturday, and these are gorgeous, and I love it. And I am eternally grateful for them, because they're really pretty. And I needed to show them off on YouTube. And um, yeah, as far as the role I got, well, just to clarify, this isn't a Disney version of Little Mermaid. Sammy got the Little Mermaid, Celia, the littlest mermaid, I should say. And then there's a character called Prince Perfect. And they told us on Monday at auditions, they said, Guys, we will never assign you a girl part. Girls, I can't say the same for you. What? You can't always assign us a girl part? No, you might get a boy part. Can you hear the train? Whatever. So, anyway. So. I had the role of Prince Perfect, and I had a mustache, and I will insert a picture of myself in a mustache right here. I told you I rock. I rock. I think I'm doing it even more now that I'm conscious of it. Because, like, I'll just be sitting there. I'll go back and forth, then back and forth. Tomorrow's Monday. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have an epic meeting tomorrow. Going over to course. And we're going to do it. And uh, Jordan and Alex. It's gonna be good. I'm making peanut butter balls in like an hour. So, I'll bring some. They're delicious, by the way. My peanut butter balls are the bomb. Okay, so I was Prince Perfect and it was really fun. This is the first guy role I've ever gotten and I loved it. And there's a professional DVD. I'll post most of the DVD when it comes. Because we couldn't, like, we couldn't just sit there. No, no, hi, hi. And film it like that because it simply wasn't allowed. But it was so much fun. I made friends, and there are pictures on Facebook. Um, my Amanda was in it. Ben was not, not, not Ben from school, a different Ben. But I have his number on my hand. How sexy is that? I've got a boy's phone number written on my hand. Yeah, no. Amanda wrote that, so it's not actually Ben's number. He's like, oh, I don't know if I'll ever see you again, so whatever. It was so much fun! I'll talk about it more later. Actually, you know, if you want to know anything about Missoula else, ask me, okay? Please, I'll tell you everything if you ask me. But I don't do well when I'm put on the spot like this, okay? Okay. On the bright side, it's just great! And I'm gonna post them on Facebook! That's all.